Hello folks, uh, this is actually the first time I've done a video review of any camera gear, so please bear with me. Um, today, what I'm gonna review, or rather give very brief first impressions, is for the following lens, which is a 35mm f1.7, which I got for about $28 from Amazon. And why is it so cheap? It's simple. It's because it's a CCTV lens called Fotisi or Fotasi and it's uh, something that is mass produced and so it's way cheap. So this is going to be a very short review so let's get into it. Um, first of all build quality. It's fairly interesting in terms of build quality. It has a, what I call a removable focus ring which is probably a feature that I don't really need. I mean why would you want to do it but you could if you want to. Which is as follows. You just unscrew the top and by the way, when I first got this lens um, in the mail today, I accidentally did indeed unscrew the top and that kind of confused me for a few minutes uh, until I figured out what I did. And so that's how you can remove the focus ring, which is probably a feature that no other lens can boast about. So that's something. Although, I don't know why I would do that, but you could if you wanted to do it. So there we go. That's a fairly interesting build quality. However, apart from that quirk, it's actually pretty good and sturdy. It's a uh, well-made solid metal. I'm not exactly sure what metal it is, but it is very solid. And the focus ring and the aperture ring are very smooth. There's no, uh, you know, there's no uh, roughness or any obstruction to the movement. It's very smooth and it's already pre-adapted for the E-mount and the whole thing comes for about $28. Now if I want to compare this with other lenses um, like these legacy lenses I have here, these are actually slightly bigger. Not only are they slightly bigger, these legacy lenses, they are much heavier. And in fact, once you adapt it, and this is an FD mount by the way, so it's a Canon FD mount and that's the legacy lens mount that I usually go for because I don't want to, you know, get other uh, adapters and stuff but as you see once you adapt this it's actually much bigger so this is actually a very small lens and one of the smallest and lightest lenses I ever had in fact it's about as big as the uh, kit lens and probably slightly heavier than the kit lens uh, although I can't compare it with the kit lens right now because that's what I'm using to film this and one last thing is the aperture if you can see the aperture let me just put it against a white background as you can see it now so the aperture is actually very very smooth it's a smooth continuous aperture there is no stepping whatsoever it's uh, continuously going from 1.7 the biggest to the smallest which is 16 um, and yeah that's a very useful feature to have especially useful when you want to do some video work so that you can you know very smoothly go from little light to a lot of light and given that this is uh, a CCTV camera lens, it's no doubt that such a feature exists on this. I mean, it's basically the roots of the camera, uh, the roots of the lens. And the other thing is very useful is that it has 12 aperture blades. As you can see, even when I stop it down to a very small amount, very small, you know, iris size, it's still very circular. So that's extremely valuable. Uh, you get very nice, beautiful circular bouquet, uh, even then stop down. So that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna splice in some video uh, of other things that I've uh, reviewed about this like some photos that I've taken with this camera lens and uh, some um, other things like a small brief video I have taken with this lens and even a small video showing the focus peaking when I change the uh, focal length uh, which shows that the focal plane is actually a disc or rather a ring around the center rather than a disc or even rather than a plane so that can lead to some very interesting uh, shots and you can probably take advantage of that uh, but uh, of course due to these sort of uh, optical quirks it's not really an everyday lens you can't really replace a proper expensive and uh, optically good 35 millimeter lens with this guy but for something that's just 28 dollars honestly speaking it gave me a huge laugh and a 
big smile and a huge kick out of it uh, given how small it is, how tiny it is and as I'm going to show you sh briefly uh, soon what kind of amazing pictures it can take uh, despite being so cheap. Uh, it's a really good lens, you should definitely have it, it doesn't cost anything at all and it's definitely a fun little lens to play around with. So I'm glad you watched this video and I hope you enjoyed it.